hello guys welcome back to the lab it's easy electronic channel with you today and i have a couple of some really exciting announcements for you to talk about let's get this video started so in today's video we will be actually uh talking about some of the things that had been happening uh, for the last couple of months and why there hadn't been uh, many videos coming out. And uh, we will be talking about the future of the channel because I think this is really, really important. This is about to become uh, something more than just me. And I'm really having a feeling that this is entirely possible and uh, we can do it if we do it together also uh to keep your appetite healthy i have something uh really really cool in the end of the video so make sure you stick around so if you're subscribed uh, to the channel you will actually know what i'm talking about but if not make sure you hit that subscribe button down below i would really appreciate it so uh there had been a video that i have released uh, which is a build of my new computer uh, which is used for gaming uh, when I'm you know just chilling uh, relaxing whatnot and uh, also it's used for video rendering and uh, the components I have chosen uh, might actually you know uh, ring a question mark for some people uh, but I will be doing a um, explanation video of all the components I have chosen and wh what I actually have in the computer and why it made sense for me. So make sure you stick around. Uh, so for all those other people that are actually wondering uh, why there hadn't been many videos coming out uh, recently was uh, the explanation is actually really, really simple. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I felt frustrated that I could not deliver the content I wanted. So there's always an expectation of the end product whenever you're filming a piece of um, video. And, you know, you have a vision of your end product and then you do it and then it just doesn't make sense. So... I ended up actually stopping for a couple of months. I was actually going to school and I really felt like I wasn't really doing a good job in actually giving you, uh, you know, good content. So I thought I would rather stop and rethink everything that I do and actually do something that is better. So uh, the last video I have released, it's a better quality video uh i really spent time putting it together i hope you guys appreciate it uh, you know some of the comments are pretty good so i'm feeling like this is the step in the right direction and i will continue doing it so uh the next thing is obviously video quality as i have mentioned before and uh the main purpose of this particular video is to give you some information of what will be happening with the channel in the next couple of months and also the goal that I have and that is reaching uh, higher uh, subscriber uh, counts and also you know just having better engagement uh, with my viewers I'm thinking that it will be a great way to build a solid channel that I can enjoy making videos for and we can all have fun at the same time. All right, so uh, now I'm just going to give you a quick look at what this thing actually is. There is actually a bunch of videos uh, in parts uh, that you can actually check out how I built this thing if you want to watch them you can check them in the corner up there 
Anyway, let's actually fire it up. And if you're wearing headphones, I would remind you that it's actually uh, the fan noise is quite loud. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up, but I warned you, so be prepared. So as you can see, I turned uh, the power supply on and it's saying that we have power going to the two ATX power supplies inside and they're saying that they are ready. They are just off. So that means we can actually flick the switch and the channels come alive. So we have uh, two OCD screens because we have uh, two channels on this power supply and uh, I actually have uh, it preset to the maximum voltage on both of the rails and you can see that each of the rails can output almost 51 volts but you can connect them in uh, series which will give you 100 volts DC that you can actually power a lot of electronics with so yeah that is it. Uh, there's actually a couple of modes here. Um, let's see if we can actually change it with this button uh, right here. Uh, we might need to have a load on it. I don't really remember, but uh, the fact is it can actually measure. Yeah, here we go. It can measure uh, amp hours as well. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. So it can measure amp hours in the corner and if we hold this button for long enough, which I actually don't remember, I hadn't fired this thing up for months. But uh, yeah, here we go, amp hours as well and you can actually go back to the original mode by holding the button. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know uh, down below in the comment section. I will give you uh, the list of parts that you're actually interested in. It's quite a remarkable piece of equipment for a lab and it's so easy uh, to make, does not require a lot of um, parts or knowledge and it's incredibly accurate. You have a digital readout of all of your parameters, voltage, amperage, you have your amp hours, uh, it even tells you time. So it's actually a really cool uh, project. So if again, if you're interested, let me know down below. So guys, that is it for this video. If you hadn't subscribed already, please do. And also don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this and stay tuned for more videos that are coming really soon. I'm out, see you next time.